Hello friends, today I am going to discuss about the protein domain and the main difference between the protein domain and the protein subunits and protein motifs. Okay, now protein is a polypeptide chain that has a 3D structure, particular 3D structure and which is biologically active. Now suppose a protein, suppose this is a protein and it has four subunits like this. This is the four subunits and each subunit is a peptide chain and all four these subunits make the protein functional by their particular conformation. Okay. Now <coughs> what is the protein domain? Protein domain is a protein domain is a portion of a protein subunit that is independently folded and has a bio particular biological function. Okay. Now Now this and this is a protein domain. Protein domain and this is a whole is a protein. Okay. Now these two protein domains are connected by a short peptide sequence or peptide short peptide region. Okay. Now this individual protein um, protein domains can folded their structure independently and has a biological function okay now what is the difference between the protein domain and the protein motifs okay now protein motif is a particular uh, is a uh, peptide sequence or peptide long short peptide chain that has mostly that has a secondary structure that is the alpha helix beta sheet or random coils okay now the, uh, a protein motif can be present in between the protein domains like now this is a secondary structure and this is called a protein motif which is present in between the protein domain and the main difference between the protein motif and protein domain is the protein motif cannot retain their uh, cannot retain their stable structure outside of this protein but the protein domain can retain their particular structure the stable structure outside of this protein that's why they are called the independent folded structure okay and the second more second difference is the protein motif mostly they are not biologically active or biologically functional but the protein domain has a particular biological function okay i hope you understand Okay, thank you for watching this video.